Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and we are back again talking about the Nintendo Direct that occurred today. I'm hoping to do my best with this video, maybe not come out as good as I wanted to, but I really hope that people do enjoy the video and do watch the video. Now, I would say that this Direct probably would have been A, or even an A plus for me if it was showing things like, you know, a, a remastered trilogy for Legend of Zelda that comes with like Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker. Maybe a Metroid Prime 2 remaster, Shadow Drop, or showing some Metro Prime 4, but fortunately none of the stuff there, so I believe the most I can give this is a B plus. Because it did have some did have some interesting announcements that I am looking forward to. So shout out to Wario64, who basically breaks down all of these internal directs and gives you an idea of everything that is shown in the directs themselves. <laughs> Starting off, of course, with Splatoon 3. I don't really care too much about Splatoon 3, but I know it's a very popular franchise. I know Splatoon itself is a very popular franchise. But they did have a side order slash expansion pass they were showing off, and which will be coming out in spring of 2024. Next up, we have Mario vs. Donkey Kong, which used to be a game that was out on the DS, I believe. That I guess they did a remaster or remake of the first one. I think the gameplay looks very fun. Looks very interesting. I think I might be picking this one up. You can see some of the puzzle here. Kind of climb the rope, get across, get the key to the door. It's kind of the gist of this game. I really am looking forward to it. Next we have Prince of Persia Lost Crown, which is something that we've already seen before. It's a 2D side-scroller Prince of Persia game. Nothing too interesting there. We had Horizon Chase, which is just, I don't know, like, I guess a racing game that's supposed to be kind of like Forza Horizon or something, something like that, to that nature, but it's more kitty and cartoonish. We had this next one, Super Crazy Rhythm Castle, it's supposed to be some type of rhythm game of some kind, right? Of course, Marvel's Donkey Kong is coming out February 16th. This is actually out today, apparently, of Horizon Chase 2. Not really too interested in this in rhythm games as much. Not really too interested in Spy Cross Anya. I'm guessing this is a game for Spy Cross Family, the anime. They got a, gave us another look at Super Mario RPG. I'm so looking forward to this game. I've already got a pre-order. I'm going to be picking it up day one and streaming it. And we learned, got some new information about triple attacks. As you'll see right here. We'll go actually go through it because I like looking at it here. So you can see if there's like a triple move with Malo, Genos, and Mario here. Gameplay features. During your adventure, you'll you'll encounter bosses. They say that you can actually get rematches of post-game boss rematches. So kind of like a boss mode style of gameplay, which looks awesome. Apparently, it's supposed to be extra hard. So. Looking forward to doing that post-game stuff. I really am looking forward to this new Princess Peach game that they announced. It's coming in in March of 2024. Looks very, very well put together. The model for Peach herself looks fantastic. Apparently you get different costumes. As you'll see here, you get like Sword Fighter Peach. You get Kung Fu Peach, which is right here. You get this cake, you know, Chef Peach character we'll just kind of go through it real quick here desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival turn into patissier peach patissier peach that's what it's called and save it from a sugar crash the the sour bunch got their hands on this martial arts school because Kung Fu Peach Kung Kung and take Kung it back Peach. from these foul fiends. This looks very fun. Like, I, I watched this. This looks very fucking cool. So, kind of have this. It looks like you press a button when the circle fills up and you block an attack. Looks very fun. Sword Fighter Peach. Where was that one at? Power bunch with sensational sword play. So yeah, it's like a 2D side-scrolling type of game. 
Can Peach save this performance and its performers? It looks very, very fun. I'm looking forward to it. You also had a new entry in the Saga series. Play, you get to play as six different characters. There's character choices that affect the storylines and outcomes and things of that nature. They also dropped the remaster for the first three Tomb Raider games. It looks fantastic. The legendary Raider returns. The first three Tomb Raider. Look at that. It looks amazing. Games, all with upgraded visuals. Are so they and again, they kept her aesthetic. They didn't censor her, which is very nice. This is all we want from classic Lara Croft. We just want updated graphics. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. It's already been shown that's going to come to PS4 and PS5. As the fearless archaeologist, Lara Croft, you travel the world and. I think that's very cool. Got some Detective Pikachu news. I didn't really care too much. Trombone Champ. I don't really care too much. War Tales. It wasn't up until here where I was interested. Run and go. If you know what this is, you'll know why I love it. Run in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Now this is a much better thing to have rather than that terrible Rogue Corpse that they came out with a couple of years ago. Holy crap, that game is bad. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons. To classic, classic Contra with Bill Riser and Lance Bean. I love it. Crush the Red Falcon forces. Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls. And I, I cannot wait. This is great. And a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining oh. from Konami and Way Forward features new weapons. Now, if you know who Way Forward is, they're the company that their main title is Shantae. They make loads of those games, and they're all great. Enemies, powerful super attacks. So yeah, that's shown here. This looks fantastic. I love again. I love the models of Peach, Sword Fighter Peach, Connoisseur Peach, Kung Fu Peach. It's all fantastic. March twenty second, twenty twenty four. Saga Emerald, of course, the Tomb Raider 3, 1, 2, and 3 remasters. Comes with expansions and secret levels out February 14th. Detective Pikachu out October 6th. Trombone Champ, if you're interested in gyro controls and playing with a trombone, playing songs on a trombone, this game will be for you. Battle Crush coming to Switch. I don't know what this is. It doesn't look interesting to me. War Tales, obviously. Contra Operation Galuga reimagined by WayForward coming to Switch in 2024. Unicorn Overlord, which is looks like another RPG coming from Atlas, it looks like. So that's that looks like it's gonna be good. Got the remaster of the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon that came out for the 3DS coming to Nintendo Switch in summer of 2024. They also showed off a question block, which is featured on the roof of a Nintendo museum. I don't know exactly where it is. I'm assuming it's in Japan, is what it looks like. Putting out pre-orders for the Tears of the Kingdom Amiibos for Zelda and Ganondorf. And Xenoblade Chronicles 3 for these two characters. They did announce a Sora Amiibo coming next year. Can't wait to pre-order that. They did a Battle Royale for F-Zero. You can get that. It's available today. It also supports the SNES wireless controller. Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story. Not really too interested in League of Legends, but if you like Legends, this will probably be for you. Song of Nunu. Have no idea. Also another League of Legends game. So once again, if you're a big fan of League of Legends, this might be for you. Another look at WarioWare. I'm not too interested in WarioWare at all. I would love for them to just make a new 3D Wario game. Kind of like Warrior War from the GameCube. Yuden Chronicle 100 Heroes. I'm, I cannot wait to play this one. This is another great one. They have Yuden Chronicle Rising, which is a fantastic 2D side-scrolling RPG game. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. It's a great indie game if you haven't played it. East for Octopia. I have no idea what that is. War Groove. It's kind of like, think about Advanced Wars. That's kind of what this game is. So they have new factions, local and online battle, cutscene campaign editors. Dave the Diver, October 26th. 
Wave 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Coming with new courses, Wii, the Daisy Circuit. You also got Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, Pauline, and Peachette. Available this holiday. A new map coming for Among Us. And of course, the very last announcement, which is one of my favorite announcements of this, is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. The greatest Paper Mario game of all time. Coming to the Switch in 2024. I would love for Nintendo to do Star Fox Soul, Star Fox Adventures, Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2, Episode 1 and 2, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, of course, Metroid Prime 2 and 3, and I think, uh, and Wind Waker, of course, and I, and I will be complete on my GameCube remasters. So that essentially is it for the Nintendo Direct stuff. I, like I said, I don't know how well this video will do. I'm not very great on these type of videos just yet. But I do appreciate anyone who watches this video. And I hope you like what I had to say. And like the announcements that I liked. Maybe you like different announcements from the Direct. Let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more content like this. I will get better with these types of videos as I do more YouTube. I appreciate you all for being here. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That we get notifications anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.